If you're a software engineer, I'm sure you had this dream at least once. Someday, maybe I'll put everything away. I'm gonna get some land, grow some vegetables and raise some chickens, become a mechanic or open up a coffee shop, do anything else than waste my life in front of a screen trying to keep up with technology year after year. My guess is that's exactly why you clicked on this video. And I don't blame you, I also dream about this from time to time. But why is this? After all, the job pays well, it's not physically exhausting, you get to sit, drink coffee all day, write some code and do some stand-up meetings and that's it. Why wouldn't anybody dream about this life? Are we really that ungrateful? In this video, I'm gonna try and cover the reasons behind this. Why almost every developer I've talked with wishes to step out of this game at one point in the future. So let's start. The life cycle of a software engineer, it's fun and promising at first. Straight out of college, or not, that's not a required step to take, you are eager to prove yourself, to take over the world and build the next amazing project. You love to see that things you write transform into something useful. You get a job, learn your first framework, make your first API calls and ship your first code into production. It feels Amazing, you are part of something and it's interesting. Not many people understand what you do, but they admire you, or at least you think they do. You are at the pinnacle of technology, leading the world and making a change. The next years are also amazing. You are no longer a junior developer. Your word has some weight now. People listen to you when you make your point. You already went to a couple of frameworks or programming languages by now, and you have your preferences, your routines that make your life easier. Also, you arrived at the conclusion that spaces are way superior to tabs. Finally, congratulations, you made it. You are now in an endless loop and it will take some time, some years until you notice it. There will always be a new project, a new library, a new framework or language to learn, a new deadline or a new issue to fix. By now years have passed and you maybe started a family. Maybe you figured out that there is more to life than standing in front of a screen all the time, but somehow you can't disconnect. You can't get out of this rat race. And worse, you seem to take your work with you wherever you go. Somewhere in, in the back of your head, you always think about fixing that bug. Am I right? Am I right? You start to realize that life as a programmer is pretty tough. It's not like you learn something and you get better at it the more you practice it. Like a welder, for example. No, no, no. In this field, the moment you stop learning something, you're dead. There will always be a younger developer with more enthusiasm, more time, less responsibilities that will gladly do your job for half the money you get, or a new AI that will make you obsolete. So you start to wonder, what's the point of this? Where do I go next? Now, this video is more about raising a problem than providing answers to it. Although I will try to, but let me know if you experienced this and what you did to overcome it. In my case, I have my own product. I work for myself, make my own requirements, my own deadlines. I can work however I want, whenever I want. I don't need to waste my time on pointless meetings, stand-ups or writing documentations and emails. Even like this, I still get tired from time to time and need a break. Programming is still fun and I still enjoy it even after 10 years, I don't know. But thinking about the future, I don't think I want to do this forever. But why? What makes programming different from any other job out there? Because one can make the point that after a while, every job gets boring or tiring. I can think of five major issues. Burnout, constant need of learning, monotony, work-life balance, and job insecurity. So let us dive deeper into this. First, burnout a psychological phenomenon that occurs when individuals experience chronic stress and exhaustion in response to prolonged period of work-related pressure or demands. That's a definition straight out of ChatGPT. In the context of software development, it can be influenced by high workload. Writing code often involves tight deadlines and demanding requirements. You can find yourself working long hours, including evenings and weekends, to meet those deadlines. The pressure to deliver contributes to feelings of overwhelm and exhaustion. If you're working in a perpetual state of crisis, such as constantly firefighting bugs or dealing with technical debt, it can be emotionally draining for you and unsustainable in the long term. When decisions are imposed on you from above without considerations from your input, this 
lack of control can also lead to feelings of frustrations and helplessness, exacerbating burnout. In my case, I'm able to sustain a couple of months of intense workload, but after that, I need to put down everything and just cool down for a couple of weeks until I feel the urge, the tingle, the need to write code again. The second reason why programming can be overwhelming is constant need of learning. You know what I mean. Technology evolves rapidly and you as a developer are constantly required to learn new languages, new frameworks and tools to stay relevant. You need to stay up to date on the latest industry trends, AI, machine learning. You need to continuously adapt to new methodologies, design patterns and coding standards. Acquiring new skills is essential for career growth and advancement in this industry. And for better checks at the end of the month. Don't get me wrong, change is good. Change is awesome, but I feel that in this particular field, it happens with such speed and turmoil that it's easy to be left behind and be washed out on the shores of obsolescence. For some developers, me included, this need to constantly adapt can be overwhelming. The third reason why for some programming can be tedious is monotony. You don't always end up doing amazing and interesting stuff. You may find yourself working on legacy systems, feeling trapped in a cycle of debugging outdated code with little opportunity for innovation and growth. These tasks become monotonous as you repeat the same work over and over and over again without encountering new challenges or opportunities for creative problem solving. Without the stimulation of new challenges and the prospect of learning new things and growing, you may struggle to maintain enthusiasm for your work, leading to decreased productivity and morale. The second to last issue I have with programming, which for me is the most relevant, is work-life balance. Writing code, it's not like changing the oil on your car. Work doesn't end when you put down the tools or when you get up from your desk. No, no, no. If you have a problem or a bug you need to fix, well, brace yourself because you are taking that with you everywhere on your walk, on your date, with your kids, in the shower, with your friends, you always have that in the back of your head until you manage to find a solution. There is no rest for you. After you manage to fix it, well, there is always the next issue and the next issue to think about. Being able to have clear boundaries between work and personal life is essential in leading a healthy life as a developer. Prioritizing life outside work is also crucial. After all, work is a means to an end, not a destination. Go out, get a hobby or two, connect with people, build meaningful relationships. The bugs are still going to be there when you return. The last issue with this line of work and one that has been more pressing lately is job insecurity. Company restructuring, mergers and acquisitions are common occurrences in the tech industry, particularly among startups and large corporations. These changes can result in layoffs and organizational restructuring, causing uncertainty for you as an employee about your role and future within your company. If you're a freelancer, you may face periods of unemployment between contracts, increasing your sense of job insecurity. With the rise of remote work and distributed teams, you are increasingly competing in a global talent pool. Of course, you can mitigate this by continuously updating your skills, but still, there is one thing that's certain and that is that uh, nothing is certain. We'll see. So, are you tired of being a software engineer? Are you tired of writing code? Are you tired of this constant struggle to be up to date with everything and just need a break? Need just do anything else, like dig trenches, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Personally, I would gladly leave everything and go raise some chickens, but I can't for now. I have to take care of my family. Maybe, I don't know, in the future, we'll see.